द सेकेंड सब क्वेश्चन थ्री एक्स माइनस वाई इक्वल टू जीरो लेट इस राइट द इक्वेशन फर्स्ट वी हैव यर थ्री एक्स माइनस वाई इक्वल टू जीरो नाउ आई मेंशन दैट यूजुअली द द वेरिएबल विद द कोएफिशन वन दैट इस लेफ्ट ऑन द वन साइड एंड द Others are taken to the other side, so we can keep minus y here and take three x to the other side. So what happens? We have here minus y equal to three x on the other side becomes minus three x. Now since both are minus, if we multiply with minus on both the sides, it becomes y is equal to three x. Okay. Now we start putting values for x and then find the corresponding value of y. As I told you in the previous sub question, we will put one positive value, one zero, and lastly the negative value. So let us take now let x is equal to. So suppose we take that x is equal to two. So it's a positive value. Therefore, y is equal to three x. That is three into two. So y is equal to six. Then I told you the same steps we write. So we write three x minus y equal to zero. So minus y equal to minus three x. Therefore, y is equal to three x. Now we have to consider the value of x. Now we take x is equal to zero. So let x is zero. So y will be three x. So three into zero. So y also will be zero. Going next to the third value, which we have to find out, we write the first three steps as it is. Therefore, y is equal to three x. Now, let me take x is equal to. We took a positive value zero, and now say suppose I am taking minus three. X is minus three. Y is equal to three x. So, three into minus three. So, y is equal to minus nine. Now, I have to put the values in my table. So when we put the values, how do we put? First the x value, then the y value, then the coordinates together, x value and y value. If the x value is two, the y value is six. So here, two and six. Here, when the x value is zero, y value is also zero. Here, when the x value is minus three, the y value is Minus nine. So I write here minus three and minus nine. So I have the coordinates now. Here I write the coordinates two comma six. Then I have zero comma zero, and here minus three comma minus nine. Now look at the coordinates here. Two comma six, both are positive. Therefore, it lies in the first quadrant. So, look at the graph paper. Two on the x-axis, six on the y-axis. So, it will represent this point. We can name it any alphabet. Say, suppose I take P now here. So, this will be two comma six. What was the second pair of coordinates? Zero comma zero. That is O itself. So, we will just mark it here. And write zero comma zero. These are the coordinates of the origin. Origin coordinates are zero comma zero. What about the third pair of coordinates? Minus three comma minus nine. When both are negative, it means it lies in the third quadrant. So the third quadrant is here. Minus three on the x-axis and Minus nine on the y-axis. So you will see here minus three on the x-axis, minus nine on the y-axis will be this point. So I can mark here Q 
माइनस थ्री कॉमा माइनस नाइन ओके ऑल माई थ्री कोऑर्डिनेट्स आर मार्क टू आई हैव पी आई हैव योर ओ विच इज जीरो कॉमा जीरो एंड क्यू नाउ वॉट इज द नेक्स्ट स्टेप टू कीप द स्केल अगेंस्ट दीज पॉइंट्स एंड ड्रॉ अ लाइन पासिंग थ्रू दीज थ्री पॉइंट्स सो आई कीप द स्केल हियर पासिंग थ्रू दीज थ्री पॉइंट्स एंड ड्रॉ द लाइन सो यू सी हियर वेन आई एम ड्रॉइंग द लाइन आई ड्रॉ फ्रॉम वन एंड ऑफ द ग्राफ पेपर एंड कंटिन्यू ड्रॉइंग till the other end of the graph paper so the line has passed from one end of the graph paper to the other end of the graph paper now what have we to do on the two ends of the line we put these arrow marks so we put here also an arrow mark now what was the equation of the line given to us 3x एक्स माइनस वाई इक्वल टू जीरो आई टोल्ड यू द इक्वेशन ऑफ द लाइन हैज टू बी रिटर्न अगेंस्ट दिस लाइन सो वी नाउ राइट हियर थ्री एक्स माइनस वाई इज इक्वल टू जीरो सो दिस लाइन रेप्रजेंट्स थ्री एक्स माइनस वाई इक्वल टू जीरो 